Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called I Want Crazy by Hunter Hayes. And we're going to start with a really cool intro lick, and we'll talk about where we're going to move this for key in a moment. We're going to start with kind of a hammer-on on the open B string, and go to 1st fret, and then we're going to go to 3rd fret on the B string, and then back to 1st fret on the B, and then open E, and then back to 1st fret on the B, and then open B, and then 1st fret on the B, and then we're going to do a hammer on from open to first on the B, and then third fret on the B, and then first fret on the B, and then we're going to take third fret on the B string and kind of do a slide to, to fifth fret. So it's kind of a three five slide. So I'm kind of keeping my, my finger down to kind of get the sound to carry. So all together you got O oh, one three one O oh, one O oh, one O oh, one three one three five slide. And then we kind of start that over again with a different ending. I'm going back to the hammer on from open to one, and then three, one, oh, one, oh, one. But then I'm going to play open G, and then first fret on the B, and then do an open B, and then back to first fret as a hammer on, and then second fret on the G. And then we kind of start that lick over again, so, so we got open one, three, one, oh, one, oh, one. But then the third time we're going to go open G. First fret on the B, so a hammer on on the three, and then back to first fret on the B, and then do the three five slide again. And then we kind of start that lick over again. We got oh one three one oh one oh one, but then we're gonna go open E and do a hammer on the first fret, third fret slide to, uh, to fifth on the B, and then open the hammer on the first on the B string, and then third fret on the B, open B, and then first fret on the B. So all together to the notes you're actually playing, you're going B, C, B, C, E, C, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, E, B, C, D, C, E, C, B, C, G, B, C, B, C, A, B, C, D, C, E, C, B, C, G. Backing that up with chords though, it'll all be around something called a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret, second finger is going to go D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all of those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then on the C major, we're, we're just, for the intro, we're just going to kind of end up doing four C majors. A lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the C and just tried that a lot. We'd have C down, up, up, down, C down, down, up. start we're going to be on, on C major doing the down down up where you can kind of hear a little bit of the basses, but it's kind of hard to hear. But it sounds like we're going to be going to an A minor chord. And when we play A minor, first finger is going to actually stay on the B string first fret. A second finger is going to stay on the D string second fret. And third finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an A minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to an F major chord. And when you play F major, you know the bar F major, we'll talk about a really easy way to, to play this in a minute because it's kind of going for ease of play with these videos. But but if you know the bar F, you put your first finger over the entire first fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an F major chord and it sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times, if you just start now, or you just want to avoid the bar chords, you can actually use a substitute for that called F major 7. 
And the way you play F major 7, first finger is going to go on the B string on the first fret, same place he is for A minor and C. Second finger on the G string on the second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, kind of the skinny four strings, that sounds an F major 7. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And when you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret. Third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G, we're going to be going back to the F. But the weird thing about that verse, like at the very, very end, is we're halving all those chords. So one way to do that is to just do down, down up on each one. So when you hit that A minor, it'll just be down, 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 down. the C pre-chorus we got the F down Turn, you've got kind of C down up, up down, and then C with a down, down up, up, and then if you want to, you could just do the F with a down. We kind of punctuate, and I think that's kind of a cool thing from the song to add. So you have C down up, up down, C down, down up, up. starting on a C major chord, he's actually starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your C major is really an E flat major, and your A minor is really a C minor chord, and your F major is really an A flat major chord, and your G major is really a B flat major chord. But just to take it from the very beginning that way, you can still do your intro, so you got O one three one O one O one O one three one three five O one three one O one O one O one O one two O one three one O one O one O one three one three five slide Oh oh O one three one O one O one O one three five O one three kind of the intro. Or if you're just strumming that, then you'd have the C down, up, up, down, up, C down, up, up, down, up, C down, up, up, down, up, C down, up, up, down, up. And then we'd be on our verse. So we got our C down. Open E, open B, 
second fret on the G string, and then second fret on the G string, and then open B, and then back to first fret on the B. So you could kind of just add in that lick too, instead of doing the chords, you could go one, three, oh, oh, two, two, oh, one, to kind of punctuate that. And then we got the rest of our verse where we have the C down. Down, F with the bass, down, G with the low E bass, down, F with the bass, down, up. But through most of the 
the rest of the song, you can actually use that whole strum pattern. Now, on the intro, it almost sounds like Hunter Hayes is kind of taking that idea to, to the nth power and going bass down up four times for each chord. So this could be kind of weird, too, because you'll have to be a, a little quick on this to get it to work. But on the C major chord, you could do the bass, and then a down, up, bass, down, up, bass. pre-chorus bass move where we're, we were doing the three two oh three that might be a cool place to kind of try it too where you would actually have the, the bass moving with the chord so you can have the c chord with an a bass down up second on the a down up and open a down up three on the low e be something else you want to try and add to the tune. But that's the basics of how you can strum through I Want Crazy by Hunter Hayes. So good luck!